Hey guys, Jake here coming at you with another math lesson today. This week I've been talking about linearization or linear approximation, and today I'm going to kind of show you how differentials fits into that. So the problem I'm going to be showing you is to find the differential, which is represented by dy, and we are given this function, y equals e to the x over 10. So first I'm going to show you how to find the differential based on this equation. And then I'm going to take a minute to kind of talk about how that relates to a linear approximation, because a differential all by itself is not particularly interesting or useful, but I'll show you how it relates to, you know, some of the things that we've been doing this week so you can see why it matters. So first of all, to find the differential, all we really need to do is kind of use basically the formula for what a differential is, which is dy equals f prime of x times dx. So this dx here, basically what that represents is the change in x. So like I said, I'll talk about this in a second when I kind of talk about how this relates to linear approximation. But really the piece that we actually need to do some work to find is f prime of x. So let's just say that this function is our f of x. This is the function whose differential we're trying to find. So basically, we just need to find f prime of x, which would just use the chain rule, right? We could think about having an inside function, which is this power, and our outside function would be like e to the x. So using chain rule, derivative of the outside, leave the inside alone. If our outside function is e to the x, we would just end up with e to the x over 10 because the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, so that doesn't change anything. And then we'll multiply this by the derivative of our inside. So what you want to do is think of x over 10 is the same as 1 tenth x. The derivative of 1 tenth x, the x would just fall off and you would just be left with 1 tenth. So the derivative of our inside is just 1 tenth. So th that is our f prime. So now basically just putting this into this kind of formula we have, our differential, which is dy, would just be defined as e to the x over 10 times 1 tenth times dx. So this is really all it is to find a differential. This is all you really need to do. But the reason why this is interesting or why it matters is if we think about our linear approximation that we've been talking about this week, what a linear approximation gives us is a, a linear function, which is a, an estimate of the function that we are linear, linearly approximating around that point. So this is really only interesting if we are given or if we are investigating, basically, a specific A value, which is basically some A value that we're plugging in for our X. And also we want to consider some small distance away from that A value that we're using our linear approximation to go just a little bit over to the right or to the left of that A value. So that small distance that we're going over is exactly what DX is. DX basically just means the change in X, or if we imagine our function, which maybe looks something like this, we have our linear approximation of our function at this point. So we have a linear function, which goes off like that. So this, this is blue function here is our F of X. And this green function here is our linearization or our linear approximation. Here is our A value, right? This is where X equals A. And then what we want to think about is our, our dy, or our differential, represents how far we're going to go up if we go dx units over. So if we think about going dx over from a, this distance here would be dx. If we think about going dx over, what our differential represents is how far are we going to go up, and that's what dy is. It basically tells us similar information to when we find our actual linearization formula and we use that to estimate our function, that's basically, we're doing the same thing, same kind of thing here. So if we have some actual A value, let's just say, for example, we're looking at when A equals 10 and let's just say we're going over 0 0.05 units. If we plug this in to our differential here, so plug in 10 for x and then plug in 0 0.05 for dx, what that would give us is how far, how far our linear approximation of this function will go up 
as we move 0.05 units to the right in our x direction. So we can kind of start to see some uses for this, which we'll get into this in the next video, is the, the delta y, which is another term that goes along with differentials, which gives us information to do with basically how far our linear approximation is away from our actual function. So this dy will come in handy when we're estimating error or when we are you know, figuring out basically how accurate our linear approximation is for this function when we go a certain distance away from the point that we're focused on. So like I said, I'll get into that more in tomorrow's video. So I hope to see you back tomorrow for that.